I'm Chase Briscoe, driver number 14 Ford Mustang for Stuart Haas Racing, and you're watching William Blackwell on YouTube. Tomorrow's race in New Hampshire is going to be a phenomenal one, let's say the least, because there is a 95% chance of rain, and if it's a light rain, they're going to race in this rain because NASCAR is bringing a rain tire to this weekend's race, and I believe it's just going to make the playing field much more equal, and I believe it's going to open a door for some of these smaller teams. Saying that, we got the starting lineup now, and at the end, I'm going to give you all my winner based off of practice and qualifying. So, in row 18, we got the 54 car of Ty Gibbs alongside him, Ty Dillon. Ty Dillon having a rough year. Row 17, the 15 car of Ryan Newman, the Rocket Man, coming out of retirement for a couple of races this year for Rick Ware Racing. And alongside him, Cole Custer in the 51. Row 16, B.J. McLeod and Ross Chastain. A terrible effort from him. Uh, he was a little too tight, and I think they're going to turn turn things around within the next day and a half, so I wouldn't count them out, really. Row 15, a Legacy Motorsports Club. I don't know how you say that right. A pair with Noah Gregson and Eric Jones. Row 14, Chase Briscoe and Harrison Burton. Harrison Burton, in my own opinion is starting to come into his own he's nowhere near playoff or race winning material but he's getting better each weekend and i believe at this point in time with all the chaos going on in the silly season it is going to be smart for roger penske and the wood brothers to keep him on for at least one more year uh row 13 we got a couple of good cars here uh we got chris busher here and i like chris busher i like his chances so you can really never count him out and then alex the showman bowman uh row 12 todd gilliland and corey lajoy two drivers that i will keep an eye on if it rains because it's going to open up the playing field and it's all going to be about corner speed and i like corey lajoy he's a phenomenal short track racer so if it rains it may play into his wheelhouse uh, row 11, we got the 41 of Ryan Priest, a very disappointing qualifying effort from him. And Austin Cindric, row 10, Justin Haley and Denny Hammond. Row 9, Michael McDowell, phenomenal in practice, terrible in qualifying. But though they're going to have phenomenal race pace and Chase Elliott alongside him. Row 8, Kyle Larson and Ricky Stenhoff Jr. Row 7, Kevin Harvick and AJ Allmendinger. Uh, ahead of them, Austin Dillon and Daniel Suarez. Ahead of them in row five, Brad Keselowski and Kyle Busch. Row four, William Byron and Bubba Wallace. Row three, Ryan Blaney and Tyler Reddick. And row two, Eric Amarola and Joey Logano. Row one, Bell, that is, and the 19 car, Martin Truex Jr. And just going off of pure practice and pure qualifying, we take long runs into account. I believe the best well-rounded car out there are the Fords. And I look at Michael McDowell, to be exact, and Eric Amarola. Eric Amarola will more than likely be the better option here out of the two, but I'm going to have him as my race winner and my dark horse, Michael McDowell. I had Michael McDowell at the beginning of the week on my channel as my dark horse, and it's going to stay the same with that. And I'm just going to flip Denny Hamlin, who I had at the beginning of the week, as my actual winner to Eric Amarola. Time will tell, but I will say this. Last time I did something like this, I picked Shane Van Gisbergen at Chicago, and look what he did. He won. So, who knows? I may be right yet again. Please like and subscribe.